and of course on WDF News 12. Well, coming up in May, we're going to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the reopening of the Walnut Street Bridge. But tonight, we're going even further back into our archives. This is what the bridge looked like in the late 70s. It was shut down because officials feared it wasn't safe for vehicles anymore. Well, then 25 years ago, the city faced a decision. Save the bridge or tear it down. Here's reporter Linda Edwards from 1988. In the past year, the task force hired two engineering firms to closely examine the Walnut Street Bridge, and both found the limestone foundation to be sound and safe, and not about to collapse, as a report several years ago had indicated. The task force has chosen Dr. Abba Lichtenstein and his firm to restore the structure. The proposed plan will open the bridge for pedestrian use only and not for vehicular traffic. Dr. Lichtenstein will simply reinforce and replace the weakened elements of the bridge and replace the asphalt with a wooden deck. So how much will all of this cost? Ben Probasco is with Chattanooga Venture, the community organization that created the task force. He presented city officials with the report. The most critical consideration is financial feasibility. Cost to preserve will be roughly $4 million. The city has committed to one and a half million dollars, which they would still have to pay even if the bridge were demolished. As for the rest of the money, the city will apply for at least two and a half to three million dollars in federal money, and the community will also have to chip in. The interest gathered from donations will be used to maintain the bridge. If you, if you really want to save this old bridge, put your money where your mouth is, in other words. That's basically, I guess that's a harsh way to say it. But that's what this group is saying. If you want to save this bridge, you need to come forward with some help. But Mayor Roberts says you will not have to worry about a tax increase to pay for it. If the funds aren't raised in 18 months, he says the city may have to reconsider the fate of the bridge. Linda Edwards, New Center 12.